challenge ahead, hoping to come out of the gates strong. Downtown Phoenix on a bright and sunny day as we come to you from Arizona. Welcome to a special presentation of the NBA on Christmas Day here on 2K Sports. We want to wish each and every one of you a Merry Christmas. I'm Kevin Harlan, joined by the talented analyst tandem of Greg Anthony and Chris Weber. David Aldridge is on our sideline. DA, take it away. Thank you, Kevin. Well, the Suns finally broke a decade-long playoff drought. Devin Booker says it's been a long time coming. Basketball and life relate to each other, and that's how I grew up. It's through basketball. I kept my head down, kept working, and it finally paid off. Kevin, is that deep enough for you? <laughs> yeah, I love it, and I love that team. David, thank you. A moment now to check out who's leading in the all-star voting. And, and a lot of fans and players interested to see how this thing all turns out. You take a look at Aiton. He's not quite there, but he's very close to his spot in the starting lineup for the West. And, and to have the great season he's having and still not crack the top five, that just tells you a lot about how terrific some of the other Western Conference players have been. A great all-star weekend it'll be. We'll keep you updated as we get closer. And now the Golden State Warriors starters. At the guard spots, it's Curry and Thompson. Andrew Wiggins is out there with Otto Porter Jr. And it's Wiseman in at the five spot. And for Phoenix, Aiton is the pivot and Crowder slides in at the four. The star backcourt of Paul and Booker are out there. And it's Bridges in at the three spot. And it's the Suns to start out. And Greg, at this point in the year, if your system overall doesn't seem to be working, how much can you really change before the offseason? Well, usually a system change would come with a coaching change, but sometimes it's not the system. And sometimes you just need a different voice. And keep in mind, you also have to evaluate that roster and find out if the players on that roster are a good match for the system. And so it's the Suns getting on the board first. And Thompson gets it to go. Well, he's an all-time great shooter with a tremendous motor. Thompson, he loves to one-up the opponent. Thompson against Booker. Pass to Ayton. That's a two from Paul. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Want to keep rolling here following the win against Memphis. They shot the lights out from deep. Really stretched out the defense in that one. Nowadays, the three-point shot is huge. They were on fire from outside. Here in the first, a little over a minute played so far. Ball left side. With three, Booker. Offensive rebound. Thompson surveying the floor. And taken away by Paul. Porter pulls it in. That's a shot they're always happy to get, even when he blows the finish. Wiggins inside the line. And there are the Warriors now with another bucket. Uh, yeah, can't afford to leave someone open around Curry. He's great at keeping his head on a swivel. For Phoenix, they've gone just one of four to get this game started. Tipped away. Curry with the steal. And here we go. Wiggins heading to the hoop. And Curry, the bucket on the assist by Wiggins. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. Just about two minutes into the game, first quarter of basketball. Here's Paul. He's been putting up the points on a very steady basis, averaging around 17 and a half points a game. Booker the pass to Bridges. Five to shoot. Shoots over Curry. Here's Ayton. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. It's going to be on Andrew Wiggins. You know, so much hype around Ayton. Has that rare combination of NBA-ready body, productivity, and upside. 
Aiton is a player who Greg occasionally shoots a three, but it's still a developing part of his game. Yeah, you know, not the best numbers from outside. Does it to keep teams honest, but it's a far fetch to say he can stretch a defense. Free throw drops for Aiton. Aiton hits them both. Here in the first, just under two and a half minutes played so far. Curry against Paul. They get a hand on it. Booker with it. Coming in off a 21-point game, his last outing. And it's Paul missing. Crowder against Curry. The pass to Porter. And he uses the glass on the way. Well, you better wrap Porter up on these type of shots. When you don't, he fends off the contact well and finishes in style. Booker the pass to Crowder. Nice ball movement by Phoenix. Aiton finds Paul. He takes the 12-footer and hits. His first make, and, you know, maybe that will get him going. And so it's Thompson with it. He'll bring it up for Golden State. Four-point game. Their last encounter was in San Francisco. Well, if they want to avoid the outcome of that first meeting, they'll need to be stronger on the glass. They were completely outmatched in the last one. They needed more fire and intensity tonight. Even if they don't win the battle of the boards, they have to put up a fight. First quarter of play and uh, just over three and a half minutes in. Booker against Thompson. Stolen by Thompson. And here we go. Fast break. Curry's got it. On the wing, Wiggins. Defended by Bridges. Thompson in the corner. Let's the three fly. No good that time. And Phoenix the other way now. They want to keep rolling here following the win against the Thunder. Yeah, and we saw them really play a determined game when it came to chasing down rebounds, getting those good second-chance looks. Really loved their aggressive. So it's the Warriors now. The Suns getting the bucket. Curry deciding where to go with it. Outside, Porter. Jacks up a three. The shot by Curry, no good. Suns trail by five. Passes it to Paul. To the inside, Crowder. And a great assist by Paul as that one goes in. Crowder's got his second basket of the night. Nice work offensively, and Crowder caps it off inside. Paul against Curry. Thompson outside from deep. Buries it from three-point range. Thompson's got nine points. And they are shooting the lights out from distance here early. Paul. His last outing, he had eight points. To the paint. Looking for Aiton, he gets it in there. An emphatic LU jam. And the impressive reach of Aiden. Lob it up his way, and he'll take care of the rest. Curry against Paul. Kicks it out to Wiggins. Outside Curry. Shoots the three. And another three for Golden State. The defense a step slow, and you can see the results. Eight.
And here are the Suns now. They trail by seven. Bridges outside. And here's Booker from the arc. The Warriors pull it in. Now here's Wiggins. A 20-point game for him in the win against Memphis. It's up a three. And there's Stephen Curry on the assist by Wiggins. Curry's got his third bucket of the night. That's a dozen straight points coming off the triple. And here is Paul. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. And with Chris Paul, he makes this team work. Gets the most out of his teammates and has done that wherever he's played. Now let's take a moment to get your guys' take on the scoring so far for the Warriors. The three-pointer has been a major weapon for them in early stages. I mean, they'd be smart to keep moving and working on the perimeter. And the other thing, though, is their execution in terms of their ball movement has been flawless. Sets up a lot of easy scoring opportunities. As you said, Paul's teams often overachieve in the standings. People still underestimate his impact. Sets up and improves his guys as well as anyone. And he's the engine to this whole operation. And the Warriors making a change here. Green's checked in. And so Paul nails both of them. Well, his free throw shooting is something they never need to worry about. He doesn't even know how to go through a post. Here's Curry. He picked up 36 points in the last one against Memphis. Uh, but we got to talk about his D2. Four steals in the game. I mean, a complete all-around effort for him. And Draymond Green picks up the foul. That's his first foul. So for the Suns, JaVale McGee's checked in for DeAndre Ayton. And Dario Saric subbed in for Crowder. And the Suns call their first time out of the game. With the All-Star game almost here, let's see how the West is shaping up. You look at Phoenix. They're sitting pretty, second place, and looking to take the top spot. And, of course, there's the Warriors, down four spots from them. And, guys, for the Warriors, they were a team that no one knew quite what to make of entering the season. But as the year's gone on, it's become clear they're legit contenders. But there are still some very strong teams above them. So, yes, they are contenders, but I wouldn't call them favorites just yet. Now, here's Curry following the missed shot by Dario Saric. From deep three-point range, moves back up. Oh, and he pucks it off the glass. Wow. They get the rebound. Here's McGee. And it falls over the rim and in. A specialty of McGee's. I mean, he's a high-activity guy who's opportunistic on the offensive glass. Thompson outside. And Chris Paul picks up the foul. That's his first foul. So for the Suns, Johnson comes in for Mikael Bridges. And it's Torrey Craig in for Paul. Kamingas come in for the Warriors. Gary Payton comes in for Thompson. And a chance there to look back at the stunning mobile one block a moment ago. And, and guys, they'll think twice about attempting that shot again. That was a big-time rejection. Unable to get the ball in bounds. They get called for the five-second violation. it loose Booker with it he's been quiet so far still no points in the game and Phoenix has possession and here's Sharnich he'll bring it up for Phoenix six point game 
Bounce pass, Cray. Down to five on the shot clock. And wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. Knocked loose, and here are the Suns now. Just two to shoot. A nice shot by Booker. He's just such a well-rounded offensive player. He's got a little bit of everything. Now Curry. Eight points for him. And Wiggins with the basket on the assist by Curry. Curry's got three assists in the game. Suns trail by six. Now here's Booker. Charge passes to Booker. Oh. There's no reason you should leave someone open around Sarge. I mean, that's just asking for trouble. An outstanding defensive play to earn the mobile one block. And in a close game, blocks like that are so clutch. And that could be a real difference maker here tonight. And Green gets it to go. And the story here, Kevin, early on is how well they've shot the basketball. Craig passes to Book. Oh, and there's the alley -oop. And the slam dunk by McGee. And you see why McGee's teammates hop it up his way because they know he can go up and get it. Booker against Curry. Pass to Green to the right side. Peyton can't get it to go. Phoenix is gone. One of three from beyond the arc so far in the game. Craig against Peyton. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. The Sun shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. And they've had really good numbers all season from the free throw line. And the first one drops. The Suns making a switch here. Kaminsky's checked in. Pools checked in for the Warriors. He's off on the second. Warriors leading by three. Here's Wiggins, and he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. And here's Booker. Great numbers on a nightly basis as he averages over 24 points a game. And McGee kicks to Booker. Kaminsky against Wiggins. Got a piece of it. Shot clock at six. Back to Craig. Here's McGee. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Yeah, McGee, he's made an awful lot of stops along the way in his NBA career, but he's been a productive player on just about every team he's played for. The Suns have hit most of their free throws tonight, five of six. First free throw is good. Both free throws good from McGee. Warriors leading by three. Kaminga dishes to Peyton. He kicks it to Green. Golden State moving the ball around. And there's the whistle. Three-second violation. 
Phoenix has gone just one of four from three-point range here in the first. Booker outside. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. And, you know, Booker might have been a volume shooter, at least early in his career, but now he's a legit number one option for an offense. Free throw, good Booker. And Craig, the efficiency for Booker has grown over the years. And no longer forcing shots. Takes what's available to him. And I believe he can be the leading scorer on a championship caliber team. Both free throws, good from Booker. An accurate shooter from all areas of the floor. Booker has the confidence needed to dominate on offense. Now, here's Poole. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Wiggins It's in and he's a very efficient 5 for 6 on the game. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now. Especially on the interior. 127 left in the first. Here's Booker. He has 6. Into the lane. And the dunk by Booker. And there he goes. Booker showing off the vert. The Warriors leading. There's a minute left in the first quarter of the game. Inside, there's Kuminga. That's in, coming off an assist from Peyton. Just impressed with the teamwork out there, setting the table for one another. 54 seconds left in the first quarter. Booker looking around. Over Kaminga. And misses it off the right side of the rim. Warriors leading by three. Pass to Poole. It's stolen by Johnson. Now here's Craig. Covered by Peyton. Here's Booker. Here's McGee. No good with the layup. And so it's Wiggins with it. He'll bring it up for Golden State. Over in the corner, Kaminga. Cool. To the middle. Here's Green. No good off the back of the rim. Not pretty. You just got to shake off a miss like that. He gets it up. And it is good at the buzzer. Resourceful move there, ending the period on a high note. Yeah, great job of getting a look before the horn sounded and gaining some momentum. A nice first quarter of play. We've seen plenty of offense so far. Warriors lead by one. And we'll be back shortly for the start of the second quarter. And this Warriors team has an interesting mix of championship vets with hungry young players. Andrew Wiggins spoke about that great dynamic. The best 19 love to teach. The good player, they're always telling us why we did it, why you should do this, why you should do that. So it's been a lot of learning and also been very exciting uh, for the young players. Agreed. No doubt Wiggins has been soaking up that wisdom. Greg stepping up his game in the process. Yeah, a big culture shift coming from Minnesota. And he's blossomed under the toolage of these Hall of Famers. And we welcome you back to NBA Action, a great tradition, Christmas Day basketball, here on 2K Sports. And the Warriors, guys, what jumps out to you in this game, uh, stats-wise? Yeah, impressive start. They came in with a well-conceived game plan and have executed. Well, yeah, this is their preferred pace, and, and it's gotten them out to an early lead. So with Paul on the bench, here's the group that Monty Williams has on the floor. They've got Torrey Craig. JaVale McGee is out there with Frank Kaminsky. 
Then it's Johnson, and it's Booker in at the one. And we've got an update here, so let's catch up with David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Well, the three-point shot of Mikel Bridges seemed to abandon him early in his NBA career. Coach Monty Williams said he developed a hitch in his release. But Bridges got in the lab with the coaching staff, changing his shot midway through season two. And the results speak for themselves. Guys? He had a career year shooting, that's for sure. I admire his work ethic. B.A., thank you. And it's Otto Porter with a foul. That's his first foul. And around a minute gone here in the second quarter. Now the pass to Johnson. Hey, Greg, you had a lot of success playing in college and the NBA, but what was the most fun you ever had playing with a team? That's a tough call, Kevin. I mean, winning tends to be the most fun, so I'd have to probably say my UNLV team, but we had some great teams with the Knicks, and don't forget about my Blazers. They were also a really competitive team. Booker finds Johnson. Now here's Aiton. Passes to Booker. Lock at six. Raymond Green grabs the miss. You, you almost have to assume he's going to knock those down when he is that open. That athleticism on display there, you love seeing Porter seize these opportunities and capitalize. Suns trail by six. Booker the pass to Crowder. Inside. There's Kaminsky. Eyes again. Count it. Aiton's got eight. And, and that's why you never stop working in the paint at either end of the floor. The Warriors have gone three of four from the floor here in the second quarter. Cool with it. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. He takes it in. Porter kicks to Green. Over in the corner, Pool, And it's Golden State with another. An assist like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. Second quarter of play with almost three minutes gone. Now here's Booker, guarded by Poole. And the whistle blow. It's going to be on Andre Iguodala. That's his first foul. Mikael Bridges checked in for Phoenix. Chris Paul comes in for Booker. Then for the Warriors. Wiseman's checked in for Green. And it's Thompson in for Payton. And he lobs it up toward the rim. Six to shoot. Shot by Crowder, no good. Warriors leading by six. Cool, no good. For Phoenix, they've gone two of six in the field in the second quarter so far. Paul looking around. Pass to Ayton. Outside Crowder. Phoenix, no good that time either. And I thought that was going to drop. It looked good from here. The shot by Thompson, no good. And it's Paul with the ball for the Suns. Next up on the schedule, the Grizzlies. That'll be a home game. And that'll be the third of the four straight at home. Bridges shot. Good. That's a great awareness being shown by Crowder. Spotted the open man and made a fantastic dish. And the Warriors decide to take their first time out here. Charge has checked in for the Suns. The Warriors also with a sub. Curry's checked in. Closing in on four minutes played here in the second quarter. On the wing, Porter. Over Aiton. And the rejection by Aiton. Thompson for the triple. A Crowder pulls it in. 
He's got nine points on three pointers in the first quarter, but still looking for his first three of the second. Sharch finds Paul. Bridges. Good, and Paul gets the assist. Paul's got four assists in the game. I've seen Paul make about a million of those passes over his career and never get so. Paul with the steal. Shoots over Curry. And it's Paul missing. The Warriors have gotten a little under 50% of their second quarter shots to find the mark. Four of nine all told. Thompson dishes the Porter. In the corner, Ibudala with it. No good on the three. The Suns trailing. Now Bridges. He picked up 27 points in their last win against Oklahoma City. Charge has the open look, and the shot falls short this time. Golden State's gone one of four from three-point range in the second. Not a whole lot dropping out there for them. And how about getting the band back together? I mean, Iguodala in a Warriors uniform, considered retirement, and couldn't resist one more run with the team he's won three titles with. Now here's Paul. Has to crowd it. Weisman with the rebound. Weisman's got rebound number five here tonight. On its way from Curry for two. And good as it just snugs right down through the net. Uh, using so many devices to get a shot. I mean, that time Curry on the catch and shoot. Suns trail by six. Now here's Paul. And the Suns miss again. His offense has been non-existent tonight. It's really hurting them. Curry passes to Iguodala. No good from outside. Suns shooting 31% in the second. Some poor shot selection for them in this quarter. And it's Aiton missing. Warriors leading by six. And here is Iguodala. Good work defensively by Crowder. And the whistle blow is going to be on Andre Iguodala. That'll be his second foul of the game. The Warriors making a switch here. Wiggins is checked in. And it's the Suns with the ball. Paul for three. Connects from three-point range. Paul's got seven points. Strong four. Paul, he's a dead-eye shooter from beyond the Ball against Curry. And there's the pass to Wiseman. Porter trying to free himself up. Wiseman with the bucket. And listen, we know Wiseman has a nice outside game, but inside there aren't too many guys who can match up with him physically. Now here's Paul. He has seven off the mark, and he's two of eight for the game. He's been cold, and it's been hurting him. The D, I mean, was ready for him. He hasn't been able to solve it. To the paint. Here's Weisman. And finished off by Weisman. Oh, that's a big man move by Weisman. Roughing up the D with that emphatic finish. Suns trail by seven. Here's Paul. And Curry pulls it down. Well, he has to work harder to get a good high percentage look. I mean, he's been taking some bad shots. Out there. Thompson for three. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. Curry's got assist number five here tonight. Here's Paul. The kick out to Crowder. Pass to Sharich. To end the run. And the layup is up and in. Sharich has got his first points in this one. But that's just sheer will. I mean, even when you body Sark, I mean, he stays after him and tries to score. And it's Wiggins missing. Phoenix is gone. One or two on three-pointers here in the second quarter so far. 
And the ball out of play. The Warriors will inbound. Torrey Craig, he's checked in for Crowder. And the Warriors also making a change. Kamingas come in for Otto Porter Jr. And so Curry will bring it up for Golden State. Pass to Kaminga. Unloads from 13. And finished off by Wiseman. You just can't teach size and length. And Wiseman beats everyone to the ball for that second chance opportunity. Suns trail by 10. Ball outside. It's good, and that's just his third make in 10 shots. An off game for him. And you can see when he has the basket in his sights, he's going to attack. And once he's in tight, he is a terrific finisher. Now here's Curry. 10 points for him. Wiggins finds Wiseman. Thompson in the corner. Craig with it. Picked up by Thompson. Bridges outside. And that's out of bounds. Phoenix will retain possession. And he made the right read on that play, but just couldn't secure the steal. And you can tell he feels he should have had it still. The hustle was impressive. JaVale McGee's checked in for Phoenix. Devin Booker comes in for Chris Paul. Then for the Warriors, Green, he's checked in for Wiseman. And Gary Payton has subbed in for Clay Thompson. Now, here's Craig. Pass to McGee. Four on the shot clock. No good on the shot. Great D that time from Green. Kaminga with it. Charges there. And Kaminga gets it to go. Kaminga's got the lead up to 10 now for the Warriors. Ball's knocked loose. It's stolen by Curry. Oh, and here we go. Green's got it. The fast break chance. Kaminga with a wide open look. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. Kaminga's got five points now this quarter. Here's Booker. Eight points for him. Bridges with it. The pass to McGee. Here's Craig, covered by Peyton. And here's Booker from the arc. Makes the shot. Basket number four this game. Brings him up to four for nine. And they are absolutely stroking it from beyond the arc. Curry against Booker. But three. And another three for Golden State. I mean, it took him a long time to get into the flow of the game. But the points are starting to come for him now. Booker outside. Another three for Phoenix. That's his second three-pointer of this quarter after not getting any in the first. Curry against Booker. Curry passes to Kaminga. Back to Curry. Stolen by McGee. Down low. Charge. And he banks in the lane. Charge has got his second bucket of the night. Sweet find there by Booker. All eyes on him with the ball. And Devin understands that. It has a nice feel for giving up the rock. And that one's good. Wiggins. His individual effort has been outstanding tonight. And it's helped him grab the lead. 36 seconds left in the first half of the game. Booker the pass to Bridges. Passes it to McGee. Here's Craig. And the ball travels out of bounds. It was last touched by Peyton. And Phoenix making a change here. Kaminsky's checked in. Pools checked in for Golden State. Booker outside. Four on the clock. Shoots over Poole. No good from Booker. Now here's Kaminga. He's covered closely. Misses off the left iron. That will count. 
and that would have counted, but his uh, shot was off the mark this time. And we've reached halftime in this one. Warriors ahead, leading by 10. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, Steve. Some great engagement defensively. What's happening that's good at that end of the floor? I think they're just playing hard, rotating, playing for each other, and I think they've done a better job of avoiding fouls and just playing through. Steve, thanks for your time. Back to you. Okay, David, much appreciated. And now time for halftime. So we'll be back in just a bit to get the third quarter underway. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Clay Thompson putting in some serious work for the team tonight. He had 14 points and one steal. Big fella, what's your take on Golden State so far? They've built this lead from the perimeter. We know they have shooters to do it. We know sometimes they play outside in. This is one of those games that's going on by the script. Impressive performance thus far. And Kenny, what are your thoughts on Phoenix? They wouldn't be in such a deep hole if they hadn't given up so many offensive rebounds. Getting out hustled, getting moved around, losing possessions. The one thing you can control is effort. And we've got third quarter of basketball for you. Two quarters in the books. Clay Thompson has been sensational. You just love the patience in that first half. Waited until he got the look he wanted. Yeah, working the ball, getting clean, quality looks. I mean, just efficient basketball through and through. Warriors leading by 10. Setting the floor for the Warriors. Sharing the wing spots, it's Thompson and Wiggins. Otto Porter Jr. out there with James Wiseman, and it's Curry in at the point guard. And stolen by Eaton. Booker right side. Warriors with the rebound. Wiseman's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. Thompson with the bucket. Our end to end Thompson is very difficult to match up with defensively. I mean, if you don't do it, <laughs> that's the outcome. And so Booker will bring it up for Phoenix. And as you get older, your role changes a little bit. Now, Clay Thompson being asked to take on more of a leadership role. And I tell you, boy, he has earned it. You know, Greg, he's one of the longest tenured players with the same team. Funny guy, but he knows the game. Uh, shared a locker with Wiseman when Wiseman was with. Suns trail by 10. Crowder feeling it out a bit. Paul finds Bridges. Some nice ball movement here by the Suns. And here is Ayton. Clock at four. The Suns need to get a shot off. Paul for three. Knocks down the three ball. Paul's got 12 in the game. You got to appreciate how assured Paul is. He takes pride in torching the deep on the catch and shoot. As to Wiseman. As to Kerr. Another three for Golden State. The real come at us, and we're coming right back at you. <laughs> Let's talk about it. The great competition going on. That's what makes a matchup like this so much fun to watch. To the inside, Aiton goes back up, and it's good on the way in. He's got 12. And using that 7-5 wingspan, putting it back off the miss, one of Aiden's specialties. Thompson outside. The pass to Wiggins. And another three for Golden State. They're on target from the start of the half. I mean, they're moving well. They're getting some good shots. Now, that makes them three for four from the field since halftime. A little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the third. Curry against Paul. 
over Thompson. Tries to keep it alive, and it's Paul missing. Warriors leading by 11. Here's Wiggins. And there are the Warriors now with another bucket. And that makes them four for five. I mean, uh, I think that's pretty good numbers. I mean, they've got to be pleased with how things are playing off so far. For Phoenix, they've gone three of six in the third quarter. 50% from the field. Hooker the pass to Paul. To the middle. And here we go with Thompson running it up the court. Oh, that's blocked. Booker in the corner. A three-pointer is right on target. This is a guy who once scored 70 points in a game. Booker doesn't take much for him to start percolating. Third quarter of basketball here in just a little under three and a half minutes gone by. Curry against Paul. Six on the shot clock. A shot by Thompson, and no one's around. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. Curry's got assist number eight now on the night. Curry against Paul. Behind the back and lays it in. Paul's got five points now this quarter. Those are some handles, fellas. I mean, he got the screws tight. CP3's got every move in the book. I don't know how he keeps that ball under control. Now, here's Curry. He's got 13. Porter passes to Thompson. And denied. He sends it right off the glass. Bridges with it. Heisman picks him up. Ball against Curry. The kick out to Crowder. And it's Phoenix scoring again. And you can see just how much effort Crowder has put into improving the mid-range jet. Warriors leading by nine. Outside Curry. Thompson outside. Over Booker. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. The Suns have gone six and nine from the floor here in the second half. They've got to be happy with that. Paul kicks to Bridges. Inside. Here's Crowder. Porter pulls it in. Porter's got five rebounds tonight. Thompson in the corner. Good, and Curry gets the assist. Thompson's got 22 points. And you can tell Thompson knows his role. He's out there to score. He, he loves to stay aggressive. And the Suns call time here. And something we've seen the last few years, boxing ones thrown at Curry, although they've had mixed success. Johnson, he's checked in for Phoenix. The Warriors also with a sub. Iguodala has checked in. Here's Bridges. The scoring numbers have been solid for him. He's averaging just under 14 points a game. Paul for three. Warriors with the rebound. Weisman's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. And amazing to even consider using a box in one in the NBA, isn't it, Greg? But Curry does that with his offense to the teams that defend him. Kevin, I, I agree, and it, it didn't work well in the 2019 finals. Curry has started to adjust to that look. Much harder to use when Curry has other options on offense. And he makes the first. Well, something, Greg, we can't take for granted. It's nice just to see Clay Thompson out on the floor. No doubt, Kevin. And you know, the NBA is just a better league with a healthy Clay Thompson. Makes this team more fun to watch. Good for humor and one incredible performance a year. The Suns making a switch here. Kaminsky's checked in.
And so Thompson nails both of them. What you love about Thompson, I mean the competitive nature. He loves to play the game. Paul against Curry. Paul passes to Kaminsky. Lays it up off the glass. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Paul against Curry. Going inside, and a wide-open look for Porter. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five mates are from beyond the arc. Suns trail by 15. Al Paul, he's got 14. With a floater, he lays it in. Paul's got 16. He's got the hot hand right now. As long as he can keep getting open, they've got to keep feeding him. Passes it to Thompson. Pass to Iguodala. Back to Thompson. From deep. Rebound by the Suns. Now, here's Bridges. Shot clock at six. And block. That one goes careening off the glass. And on a per-minute basis, Wiseman already gets a lot of blocks, and his defensive awareness will only improve with time. And so it's Paul bringing it up for Phoenix. Trailing by 13. Booker dishes to Bridges. Over Igudala. Bridges misses. Warriors have gotten half their shots to drop in the second half up to this point, going 7 of 14. And here is Curry, 13 points in the game. Here's Wiseman. Got a piece of it. And despite the short wingspan for a big man, Kaminsky with the height and timing to steal block shots. And there's the call on Curry. That's his first foul. Some changes for Phoenix. JaVale McGee's checked in for Bridges. And it's Torrey Craig in for Paul. A fantastic mobile one block. This one deserves another look. Yeah, quick thinking pays off big. What a block. Here's Craig. Pass to Booker. Drives to the hoop. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. I mean, love how fearless Booker can be. Even the foul doesn't deter him from finishing off his business. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for the Warriors. They base their offense around the three-point shot today, and that was the right move. It's been a huge weapon for them all game. Yeah, but Clark, the other thing that sticks out for me, the number of assists they've made over the course of this game. Warriors leading by 10. The pass to Poole. Back to Payton. Now Poole. Let's it go from deep. Rebounded by McGee. McGee's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Johnson with it. Kaminga picks him up. Johnson surveying the floor. Passes it to Craig. Lock at six. Booker outside. Phoenix no good that time either. The Warriors shooting 44% on their field goal attempts in quarter three. Green finds Poole. Down low. They need this one. And Kaminga with the lay-in. Kaminga's got nine. When you allow good scorers to get uncontested shots at the rim, no wonder you're losing. Yeah, yeah. Horrible effort. It appears they may be on the brink of giving up. Here's Kaminsky following the basket by Jonathan Kaminga. Here's Johnson. Drops in the layup for two. Johnson's got his second bucket. 
Oh, good anticipation on the feed. Uh, he knows exactly where to go with that ball. Kaminga the pass to Peyton. Pass to Green. Cool with it. Here's Wiseman. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. Oh, fantastic job by Wiseman to just stick with it, not let the contact disrupt him. Totally focused on the rim. The Warriors have gone two for two in the game at the line. And they've had really good numbers all season from the free throw line. Sharks checked in for Cameron Johnson. And you got to respect how quickly Wiseman has adapted to big league play. He hit the ground running and has not looked back. Always growing as a player. Now here's Kaminsky. To the paint, here's McGee. And the slam dunk by McGee. The finish was nice, but the setup was better. Yeah, G.A., the pick working to full effect before the stuff. Yeah, coach is definitely pleased. That's the execution he loves to see. Here's Poole. Taking a look at his numbers, he averages about seven points a game. That shot off. The Suns go the other way with it. It's taken away by Peyton. And up the court come the Warriors on the break. And Kaminga throws it down. And I think that play sort of sums up what we've seen tonight. Just simply being outplayed both sides of the ball. Smart basketball defensively turning into easy points. Booker with it. 20 points for him. And there's the call on Devin Booker. That's foul number two for him. And the turnover differential just not in their favor. That's one reason why they're struggling. Mikhail Bridges checked in for Frank Kaminsky. That'll be a five-second call. Booker, guarded by Poole. Craig passes to Booker. Trills the three-pointer. Booker's got nine points now in the quarter. And with that three, his second of the half, he's equaled his total from before the break. Feeds it to Wiseman. That one, no good. Excellent D that time there from McGee. Here's Bridges. And a miss there with a chance to cut the lead to single digits. Warriors leading by 10. Peyton attacking. And denied. He sends it right off the glass. Booker outside. Free throw line jump shot. That shot off the mark. And it's the Warriors taking it the other way. Driving in. Oh, he blocked it and deflects off the backboard. And Wiseman sends it back. And as we end the third quarter, a double-digit deficit will make it tough to come back. Warriors lead by 10. And do not go away as we'll be back in just a few moments with the start of our fourth quarter coming up next. And a moment ago, inside the huddle with head coach Steve Kerr. Keep everything sharp. Keep the cuts hard. Cutting through contact. 
pass is sharp, and the ball's going to fall for us. You can't give up the easy ones down here, right? Well, you can tell that he wants his team to be precise with their decision-making. Kevin, he's aware of just how special they are when they play smart and play together. And with three quarters behind us, let's see what this fourth period holds in store for us. So with Paul on the bench, here's the group that Monty Williams has on the floor. Bridges and Sharich make up the forwards. Jay Crowder out there with Booker, and it's McGee in at center. And so here's Phoenix. It's a 10-point game. The Suns making a switch here. Aiton's checked in. Warriors on D. And with that one, the lead is trimmed to single digits. 14 points for DeAndre Ayton. Warriors leading by eight. Now Poole. Out to the right wing. Heaton. Here's Wiggins. Good again. He's on tonight. Nine for 13 shooting. Solid rebound there. And with the score like it is, that's an area where they can't afford to get lazy. Here's Booker. Bucket is good. Booker's got 11 in the second half. And you know, defenses try to get physical with Booker, and now he's used to that. He just plays through the contest. Now here's Kaminga. And the foul on Andrew Wiggins. That'll be his second foul of the game. Suns trail by eight. Booker outside. Pass to Crowder. Over Payton. A shot by Crowder. No good. Crowder's gotten three of his eight shots to go. Around 37%. Here's Wiggins. From the baseline. Rebound by the Suns. Charge has got his fifth rebound in this one. The dish to Crowder. Back to Sharich. Kicks to Ayton. Six to shoot. Bridges passes to Crowder. Shoots over Poole. Offensive rebound. Another shot. And stolen by Peyton. And it's the Warriors on the break. Peyton with the ball. And there's one thing that's never been in question about Wiggins. His ability to be a high volume scorer. And in case you needed a reminder, he's giving you one tonight. Here's Crowder following the score by Golden State. Now the pass to Booker. Fourth quarter of playing. We're about two and a half minutes through it right now. Warriors leading by ten. Green passes to Peyton. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. Green's got three assists tonight. And perimeter scoring, I have to imagine it was a topic of discussion at halftime. But well, it had to be. These days, you need to stretch the floor somewhat to make everything else work. Timeout called the Warriors. Every timeout, a chance to review the lineups, matchups, or call a play. Now, that's what coaches are paid to do, right? I mean, curious to see what they go with here. Chris Paul's check in for the Suns. And then for Golden State, Otto Porter Jr. He's check in for Kaminga. Thompson comes in for Peyton. And it's Stephen Curry in for Jordan Poole. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Hey, guys. Well, Steve Kerr talked to his team during the last timeout. He told them this is a game of runs. It's a game of momentum. We may have the lead now, but I'm telling you guys, it can evaporate in a hurry. Let's close this thing out. Kevin? Thank you, David. Wiggins with the block. His length gives Wiggins an advantage on the D. He can get his hand to shots that a lot of other players would not be able to impact. Thompson from long range. And it's Phoenix with the rebound. As their comeback bid had better get started. I don't know, guys. It's going to take a pretty big run to get back in this one. Booker finds eight. 
Kicks it out to Booker. Second shot opportunity. And Aiton with the nice bucket inside. Aiton's got six here in this quarter. And this is where Aiden does the most damage. Inside, feels like he can score on anyone. Thompson for three. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. Curry's got his assist totals piling up. 11 now for him. Now here's Booker. Pass to Paul. Down low, Aiden. Porter with a block. Lockdown defense from Porter. He extends out beautifully to come up with these type of rejections. Six on the shot clock. Bridges against Thompson. Uh, entering the league as a pure scorer. Thompson has developed into one of the league's better defenders as well. Green dishes to Porter. And the rejection by Eaton. Crowder kicks to Paul. Pass to Eaton. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Aiton's got 12 points in just the second half. As hot as he's been, it, it still has to be him who leads the charge and helps turn this game around. Curry passes to Wiggins. Back to Curry. Makes that one his sixth of the night. Shooting a very healthy six for nine. Yeah, maybe you would think Steph would be thrown off by some contact, but think again. Just too good of a finisher in close. Too much feel for the puck. No hesitation at all on the alley-oop. Saw his teammate with a pass to the hoop and bang, lobbed it right up there for him to finish. And he was ready for it when he elevated and made the catch. Paul against Curry. Pass to Porter. Poked away. Back to Curry. Here's the three. Booker pulls it in. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. And the Suns tack on two more. The quick, clean shot there from Booker. Strong mechanics give him great accuracy. Now here's Curry inside. And there's Green on the assist by Curry. And the Warriors lead by 13. That's a perfect setup. Solid screen. Defender can't avoid it. Opens up a clear path to the bucket. Thompson against Paul. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. They get Stephen Curry. And at seven foot one and 250 pounds, Aiden is a handful. Not easy trying to guard him without foul. And the first one drops. James Wiseman, he's checked in for the Warriors. So after making the first, he goes one for two. Warriors leading by 12 on the wing, Thompson. Green against Bridges. And stolen by Booker. Bridges outside. On the wing, Booker from past the arc. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Booker's got 16 points here in the second half. Golden State's gotten three of their six three-pointers to fall here in the fourth. 
on the pass to Wiseman. Back to Curry. To the inside. Wiseman with the bucket. And the Warriors lead by 11. Uh, one of the few guys in the league who make a lead pass like that. Oh, just a fantastic look. And it's the Suns with the ball. Bridges outside. Green against Crowder. He dishes it to Paul. Booker in the corner. Good, and Paul gets the assist. Booker's got 32 points. But too bad his scoring hasn't been contagious. I mean, they'd be in much better shape if a few of their other guys could pick up some slack. And there's the foul on Jay Crowder. That is his first foul of the game. JaVale McGee's checked in for eight. Three-pointer, Wiggins hands it from downtown. Wiggins has got seven now in this quarter. And now he's starting to do good work beyond the arc. I mean, he had a drive first half, but now they're far. And it's Paul with the ball for the Suns. Down by 12. And he comes up with the deuce. You can tell Paul is used to playing against physical defense. You got to do more than that to slow him down. Paul against Curry. Thompson outside. From outside the arc. And there's Stephen Curry on the assist by Thompson. Thompson's got three assists tonight. So many of the plays they're running designed to create opportunities from deep. You see more teams doing this nowadays. We all are firmly entrenched in the era of the three ball. Now here's Booker. Here he goes. Bridges outside. To the middle. Here's Paul. No good on that one. And it's the Warriors taking it the other way. Knocked away. And stolen by Booker. And there's the call on Clay Thompson. That'll be his second foul of the game. Booker against Wiggins. Booker the pass to Paul. He feeds it to McGee. And Wiseman sends it back. Here's Thompson. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Uh, and that's not a guy you want to foul. Thompson, one of the better free throw shooters we have in this league. First one falls for him. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. And not a single free throw attempt in that first half, but he has been far more active since the break and drawn some fouls. Phoenix calls timeout. Clay Thompson with a strong contribution so far in this one. They got to start guarding him out to about 28 feet because he's killing them from long range. And now we present our New Balance player of the game, Stephen Curry. As the ringleader of their offense, he has been on his game tonight. Spreading the ball around, keeping everyone involved, making sure the offense never gets bogged down. He's just giving them just what they needed at that point guard position. Well, to come in here facing a hostile crowd and have a game like he's had, 
That's what separates the good players from the great players. Bridges finds Paul. Back to Bridges. Passes it to Crowder. Now Paul. Back to Crowder. Second chance shot. And it's good. Off the back of the rim and in. And with his feet set, Crowder can definitely hurt you from long range. And here is Curry. Always going up for the alley-oop here. Oh, you have to appreciate the ball moving and the commitment to getting a high percentage look. Here's Paul. One fifty-eight left to play in the final quarter. Bridges, no one around him. Good, and Paul gets the assist. Surprise everyone by passing out of the shot. What a fantastic dish. Paul against Curry. They double team Curry. Here's Green. Rebound by JaVale McGee. McGee's got 11 rebounds in the game. Paul with the ball. Now defended by Wiggins. Nice catch and finish on the alley oop. 130 left in the fourth. Curry against Paul. Wiggins right side. Over Bridges. And he overshot that one. Missing. Good on the first. And that brings them within single digits. All three throws good from Bridges. And the Warriors with possession here. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. McGee with the block. When we mentioned McGee's outstanding lift. And there, we saw what he did. He used that to swat the shot. Curry passes to Thompson. Back to Curry. No one near him. Pulled the shot a little up, but the bounce goes his way. And the Warriors lead by 10. They just blocked out the noise, kept on grinding, and this is their reward. Showing remarkable poise and focus uh, throughout the game. A sustained effort across the board. Paul is doubled. Here's McGee. And again, it's the Suns missing. And here's Green. He'll bring it up for Golden State. Wiseman dishes to Green. And there's the feed to Wiggins. 27 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Thompson inside the line. And another basket for Golden State. And it's just competing. You know, giving your best when it matters most. Well, this is what guys play for. And when it pans out like this, it's a great fit. Good work there as it goes. Look, look, the ingenious mind of Paul. Superb is sizing up the defense. I mean, he's taking what they can give him. Here's Curry. So we see the Warriors taking the game here. They came in here and took care of business like they were the home team. And, and Kevin, how about the mental toughness that this group showed? They, they were never yes. rattled at all by the opposing fans. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Hey, thanks very much, Clay. You had it going tonight. Now, when you are that hot, what are you trying to do on the court? Uh, took a couple bad shots, a couple heat checks, but they went in tonight. Fortunately, when you got the hot hand, you're just looking for that little ounce of space. It's all you need is an inch or two, and that thing's just flicking off the whip so easy, and it just happened to be one of those nights. That leads to one of those wins for your team, man. Thanks very much. Back to you. All right, David. Great job. Thanks so much. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Chris Weber, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.